Hey everyone, once you've got your room set up, uh, you're going to need three other things as well. The first thing you're going to need, and we've already talked about it, is your best effort. Make sure you're always coming, ready to go. Uh, I'm going to take care of the learning. Uh, I'm going to take care of the moving. I'm going to hopefully have enough fun in these games that you're going to want to keep playing. You bring your best effort. We'll get your heart rate up. We'll get you sweating. We'll get you feeling kind of uncomfortable with your body because that means you're growing. That means you're getting stronger. So best effort. Second thing you need to bring is you need to bring uh, music. Pick your sweetest music, whatever music you want. Either have it in your earbuds or have it playing uh, around you if you're inside. That'll amp you up. That'll help you get moving. That'll help you get going. The third thing you're going to need uh, every time is you're going to need a timer. Now, a human timer is fine. So if you've got a friend, a brother, a sister, grandma, grandpa, mom, dad, anybody who's there with you, you can take turns doing the games. If it's that kind of a game, uh, instead of partnering up, that person can count for you. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. That's totally fine. If you don't want to do that, if you have a timer like a stopwatch or an old analog watch or even a digital watch, uh, last, uh, if you have a phone and you need to use a phone timer, uh, cause that's all you got, that's okay too. Uh, we're going to try and get away from screens, but if that's all you've got is a phone timer, that's all right. And you can use that uh, to count as well. If you're doing these on your own, you can also just count in your head, right? You can be doing the one Mississippi's two Mississippi's while you're playing the games yourself. Okay. So those are some different options.